think my question is about the origin of evil. Yes. Um, Christians, you know, believe that real live evil exists. That, yes. That it, it's true. There really is evil in the yes. world. We don't believe God is evil. Right. Um, and we believe that at some point he is all there was. Yes. So it becomes a conundrum to explain to people who aren't Christians how we got to this state if God's not the author of evil. If he didn't create evil and he's not evil and evil does exist, I didn't know if you had some thoughts about the origin yes. of that evil. Yes, I see the origin of evil in a disorder in the free will of creatures. God has created creatures with a free will, uh, angels and humans, and these wills are properly oriented toward God as the supreme good. When creatures use their free will to direct them toward other goods rather than toward God as the ultimate good, this is a disorder in the creaturely will and is the origin of evil. Um, so moral evil is a result of creaturely freedom and is a disorder in the creaturely will. Um, now, one might say in addition to that, that evil doesn't have any sort of positive ontological status. That is to say, evil isn't a thing that exists and needs to be created by God. It's a privation of something. It's a privation of right order in the creaturely will. And to illustrate, think in physics, um, cold is a privation of heat. Cold doesn't have any positive ontological status. There isn't any thing called cold. Rather, it's an absence of heat. So cold is a privation of heat. Now, that doesn't mean, obviously, that cold is illusory. If you go outside on a winter's day, you can feel how real this privation is. But it's not a positive reality that would need to be created by God. And in exactly the same way, evil doesn't have any positive ontological status. It's a privation of right order in the creaturely will that is due to freedom.